When adopting animals, especially dogs, introducing them to their new home is a delicate process. You never know how they'll act in a strange, unfamiliar environment. They could tear up your sofa, poop in your bed, and howl through the wee hours of the night. Without the right training, the experience could be a living nightmare. Before we begin, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. FTER adopting a pup named Luna, a Brazilian family introduced their new dog to the family matriarch. There was only one problem, because they hadn't seen the full extent of her personality, they weren't ready for the pooch's unforgettable showdown with grandma. When Brazilian resident Ana Carolina Lima and her fiancé spotted a frightened dog aimlessly roaming the streets, they couldn't help but give the sweet pupper a home. It took a bit for her to open up, but when she did, Luna was quite the card. She hammed it up for the camera on several occasions, which obviously put a wide smile on Anna's face. She was ecstatic to see that Luna was getting comfortable in her new home. A few months after adopting Luna, Anna took a trip to her grandma's house, gleefully taking Luna along with her. The pooch was good with people, so Anna had no worries about the interspecies introduction. After the introduction went well, Luna navigated her new surroundings like a pro. Anna felt comfortable stepping out for a bit to grab lunch. Her grandmother agreed to dog sit for a while, but Granny had no clue what was in store for her. After Anna embarked on her lunch journey, the sleepy grandma decided to take a quick snooze. She removed her dentures, placing them beneath her pillow without a second thought. As the gummy granny fell fast asleep, Luna's energy increased. With no one to play with, Luna got bored, forced to be her own best friend for the time being. She snooped around the house, desperately searching for a way to entertain herself, and oh boy did Luna find a way. She's a mischievous one. Luna looked to the sleeping grandma for inspiration, and had an idea that would ultimately cause trouble. The furry troublemaker dug around in grandma's bed for a second before running off. And when Granny came out of her afternoon hibernation, she immediately noticed that her false teeth had vanished. Obviously frustrated, and with the toothless mouth of a baby, Anna's grandma began frantically searching for the dentures. She was pretty desperate that she couldn't find her dentures, Anna said of discouraging quest to find grandma's synthetic chompers. She and my mom searched everywhere. They searched for hours. When Anna returned to her grandmother's home, with a belly full of lunch, she was told of the dentures debacle that was nearly tearing the family apart, well, not quite, but you get the point. Anna suddenly had an idea of where the dentures may have gone. Anna walked over to her top suspect in the case of the missing teeth, Luna. Though Anna figured Luna was the missing piece to the puzzle, she couldn't truly imagine what the crime scene would look like. The second Anna laid her eyes on Luna, she couldn't believe what she'd seen, nor could she control her laughter. The impish little hound snatched Granny's chompers from right under the pillow. You could say Luna as a tooth fairy of sorts. But it was the way that Luna carried the set of teeth that had the ladies cackling, not to mention snapping photos. It was as if the scamp wanted to try them on for size, or perhaps she simply wanted attention. Luna didn't exactly want to return the dentures, but with some effort, and possibly some bribing, Anna retrieved the teeth. After several hours, Anna's grandma got her artificial pearly whites back. The amusement over the thievery wasn't over, however. No one was mad at Lil, Luna, not even Grandma, they didn't have the heart to scold her. And Anna figured that the internet would, too, think the bananas story about her dog that looked vaguely like Harry Potter's Dobby was funny. Facebook users absolutely fell in love with Luna, the lighthearted incident evidently putting smiles on many faces. And funny enough, many of said users even experienced similar shenanigans with their own mangy mutts. Dogs really are the cutest little hellions. One Facebook user wrote, We own a denture clinic and dogs love eating dentures. Another user wrote a story in response regarding the time her dog stole her sister's retainer. Apparently there are a lot of goofy, teeth-obsessed dogs out there. Luna became a viral sensation, the silly, camel-colored pooch dominating a plethora of media sites, and even making her way to the Destack talk show, hosted by Priscilla Koteski. Luna was a star, and all she did was steal an elderly woman's chompers. 
When Anna took Luna to Granny's house, she couldn't have imagined that it'd lead to a story for the ages. She was still getting to know her adopted fur baby, and it turned out Luna was a natural-born comedian. Next time, Granny should just store her teeth in a case, in a drawer, in a safe. Anna and her family clearly underestimated Luna's bold, eccentric personality. It's often that people don't take into meaningful consideration the emotions, personality traits, and habits that dogs possess. As it turns out, dogs are a lot like people, and another dog owner had to learn this the hard way. For nearly a year, a woman named Casey noticed her dog would walk up to the same window three times a day and just stare. Casey had no clue what could possibly have held her dog's attention for such long periods of time. At first, Casey thought he simply wanted to go outside, but every time she tried to take him, he pulled away and returned to her apartment window. It was behavior like she'd never seen before, and frankly, it worried her. One afternoon, seemingly out of the blue, her dog was acting depressed. He sat on her bed all day, refused to eat, and didn't peer out of the window once. Even when she went in to try to comfort him he would shy away. What was going on? This behavior was even more unlike Casey's four-legged companion. That night, Casey slept alongside him, hoping her company could cheer him up. She planned to take him to the vet the next morning to see if anything was physically wrong, she was scared there was. Thankfully, the vet gave Casey's dog a clean bill of health the next day. But when they got back home, her dog, again, walked past the window and into her bedroom. Finally, Casey glanced out the window herself and noticed something different. Her neighbor put a bunch of houseplants in their window. Surely this couldn't be why her dog was upset. As she was looking at the plants, however, she finally caught a glance at what her dog had been so transfixed on. It was a cat that belonged to her neighbor across the street. Although cats and dogs aren't usually the best of friends, these two clearly couldn't get enough of each other from afar. Casey was in awe, her dog didn't even like cats. Although Casey had never interacted with her neighbor before, she decided to write them a note and explain the situation. She hoped that as a fellow animal lover, they would understand the heartbreak her dog felt and be willing to help. Casey had put her all into the letter. Her dog was still moping around her apartment, but hopefully not for much longer. Would Casey's neighbor reciprocate the care even though the two had never met before? The next morning, Casey was ecstatic when she looked out her window and saw that not only had her neighbor removed the pots from the window, but they answered her letter with a letter of their own that read, for true love. Casey's neighbor knew how important their cat's presence was to Casey's dog, and they didn't want to be the reason an animal suffered heartbreak. Casey hoped one day both animals can finally meet and let their passion for each other grow even stronger. It's not uncommon at all for cats and dogs to become little lovebirds. You don't have to look very far on the internet to find examples of true love and friendship blossoming between cats and dogs everywhere. This cat and her golden retriever best friend are basically inseparable. They spend their days together napping and hanging out. They are even content to pose with each other for their owner's occasional photo shoots. Every kitten needs a role model to look up to as they grow, and that role model doesn't always have to be an older cat. Take this pup and the kitten she is so patiently raising. Frisky kittens and patient older dogs are a match made in heaven. For this Siamese kitty, one puppy to love wasn't nearly enough. Two dogs to cuddle with is twice as nice. Look at how happy this kitty is to have made herself the center of the world's most adorable sandwich. This dog in Japan performs with his owner on the streets almost every day. His best friend? A lovable stray cat who cannot wait to go up to this dog and meow and eager, hello, every time his bespectacled buddy hits the scene. These two snuggle bunnies are definitely made for each other. The dog's name is Cody and the cat is Myshkin, and their solid bond formed when Myshkin was just a 10-week-old kitten. Cody even battled cancer at one point, and Myshkin was by his side every step of the way. Ruth the cat and Iggy the dog were both found abandoned together, so they were adopted together. They're named after the famous friends in the film Fried Green Tomatoes, and now these two animals share a cozy home, and bed, together. The love this cat named Scout had for his dog friend Charlie never diminished, even after Charlie sadly passed away. Now, Scout watches videos of his old friend on the computer every night before he goes to sleep. There aren't many animal stories more touching than this. 
No morning ever truly starts until this Dalmatian receives a huge hug and kiss from his kitten pal. Let's face it. Every day would be a little better if before we left the house we were embraced by a four-legged little furball like this guy.